Hello, ICC family and friends. This is Nathan with your ICC Midday Connection. So, really grateful for the opportunity to share with you guys. Um, and I was just thinking um, back to uh, our journey down here, which you know a lot of you know we're from Minnesota. Christine and I are, and um, quite the we had quite the journey coming down here. Um, a lot of bumps in the road, and but a, just a lot of God just faithful over and over and over again and I was just thinking about this moment right after Irma it was like two or three months after Irma and the neighborhood we moved into was this just torn up neighborhood in Key Largo and um, <laughs> I just remember you know moving down here with the idea that we're gonna be fishing you know I'm gonna be fishing for a living and it just wasn't happening because Irma had just destroyed things so much and I went out to this pier one night you know it was um, 11 30 or so and I got out to this pier and I'm just like crying out to God like why like what do you what do you have for me what do you what, what's gonna happen like there's nothing for us down here there's nothing everything's just ruined and I just remember I felt like God was like just go read the verse of the day right now just call me out on it it was really awesome and so I looked down at my phone and, and, and I'm not kidding <laughs> it hit midnight and I was like okay new verse of the day great you know, and I look down, it says Exodus 14, 14, and it's just very short and sweet. It just says, the Lord will fight for you and you have only to be silent. And it was like, oh, like, are you kidding me? And I just start, I, I'm pretty sure I just started bawling. Like, thank you, God. Like, just, I felt like it was just God saying, Nathan, just step aside. Let me do this. Because if you keep trying to do this, one, I can't take responsibility for your actions of trying to provide for yourself. And, you know, he just was like, step aside. I got this. I got you. Haven't I promised you provision? I promise I'll take care of you. I got this. And I just remember letting go. It's just from that day forward, I just started letting go. And it's just a challenge. Like every day, what do we need to let go of in our lives and let God do it? You know, where can God get the glory? Because if you're trying to do it all yourself, which you can't, and if you're trying to do it all yourself, how can God get the glory? If God did a miracle in your life today, would he get the glory or would it just look like you had a big part of it? The only part you should have in his miracles is the tool that he picked up to use. The tool doesn't do anything itself. It's the man that picks it up, and that's God. I just want to be on the table ready to be used, primed and ready to go. And guess what? He loves taking responsibility for our faithfulness. He does. And when you submit to him in faithfulness, he loves, he has to come through for you. He has to. That's his promise. And I love that. And we need to rest in that today. So what areas, my challenge to you today is what areas in your life do you need to surrender to him and let him fight for you the way only God can?